most people have this fantasy, I'm going to write a screenplay and be a big, successful screenwriter. Right. Or I'm going to be an actor. Or I'm going to be a singer. Or, and here... <laughs> Here's one piece of advice I will give anybody who is watching this that has those thoughts. And this is the advice I give to everybody and anybody. If you can find satisfaction doing anything else in your life, if you can find genuine fulfillment doing anything else in your life, pursue that because you're more, more likely to be fulfilled. And fulfillment is really what it's all about. But if you are called by God, like if you believe in your heart, then, then go for it, do it, and start doing it now. We'll get it. Well, well, it's it's funny you give that description because being a scientist is similar. I mean, I am sure there are people who have studied, and I mean, you know, there's just YouTube is littered with people of who say, "Hey, I know how to produce," or they they've kind of self taught and taught them how. And and there's some really good and some that are really poor. Science, I think, is probably very similar. There is a in all honesty, the calling card or what gives you a place at the table is in some sense doing a PhD. And it's not so much that you discover something fascinating or you show off your fantastic abilities. It's really kind of a mentorship into here's, here's, what, here's how the community thinks. Here's how we do things so that we do them well. And then, I mean, I spend a lot of my time, yeah, I'm working on a balloon experiment that's going to fly up at 130,000 feet looking for exotic anti-deuterons that we're going to call evidence of dark matter. Not gamma particles, <clears throat> anti-deuterons. Fair enough. I was Most wrong. of I was, my I was time wrong. right now, I'm working on this dumb piece of equipment that I can't get to work right so that I can test to make sure our equipment's going to work in the, the temperature extremes. And so, and in some sense, it's a grind. But it's a grind that's very fascinating because I love solving. How do I make this piece of equipment or this piece of code get me what I need so that we can build this long pro build this project? And I, I just you know two things my dad said that resonate with me in listening to you is that one, uh, kind of getting a PhD is an exercise in learning how to endure because you're repeatedly hit with these things that don't work and can you continue to work through them? And then you know kind of going to your we're just we're just guys who do these things. It's like, uh, dad made a comment. He goes, a PhD teaches me all of, teaches me how little I actually know. That <laughs> is like the definition of knowledge, like get, definition of an education. You go to school to learn how much information is out there and then pick something that you want to learn. Right. Uh, right. 